Well, one thing that this pandemic has done, it sparked a lot of creativity. And we have Erin Cermak. She is the CEO of Revolution Event Design and Production joining us now. Thank you so much for being with us. Yes, absolutely. So tell us a little bit more about the social distancing that I heard that you did that went viral. Well, um, that would be bumper tables. And bumper tables have been a huge sensation. Everybody loves them. And they basically came about um, sort of when COVID hit, we, it devastated the events industry, as you can imagine. We went from being in the middle of busy season to zero sales in like a matter of three days. And so we kind of did what everyone else did for a while. We hunkered down, we cooked, we did some home projects, we did puzzles, et cetera. And then after about a month, we said, you know, we got we to gotta figure out how to get ourselves out of this. And we've got to help come up with solutions that will make events be okay again. And, you know, we heard a lot of talks from hotels on a lot of industry calls and whatnot, and they were identifying what they were doing and how they were going to redevelop floor plans and, you know, some other safety measures that sort of would make their events um, at the hotel mm, more compliant and, and yes. better. Mm -hmm. um, but what they never addressed anywhere is how to get people on the dance floor or what would happen to the cocktail party because nobody could really wrap their head around that. Yeah. And so that's where we sort of started with the cocktail party and how could people still be social but maintain social distance. And so we, we developed these bumper tables, which, you know, when you're in the bumper table, it, you, and, and you're with other people in bumper tables, you are six foot apart and there's no denying that, you know, there's no making a mistake and talking too close. It's, it's, it's a true six feet and they're fun. And, you know, they're just, uh, it's just a, you know, fun environment when you're in them. So that was sort of our way to get back to the cocktail party or bring some of the fun. I mean, you know, you could certainly use them on the dance floor. It'd be probably be a little weird, but, <laughs> but if you wanted to, you could, which, um, you know, right now we don't have a lot of great solutions for that aspect of the party. But you're thinking outside the box and I love this. And I think that people appreciate the creativity and they appreciate finding ways that can get us connected again safely. What are some of your other COVID related event ideas that you have cooking up? Uh, we have a bunch and we're still in the process because everything keeps changing, but um, air scrubbers are probably the best, one of the best things that we offer right now. And it's a, it's sort of a high powered air purifier and it takes the air and it runs it through it and it changes the makeup of the air so that what comes out of the purifier actually when it settles on um, surfaces, it disinfects them, it cleans the air. So what, what that does is if you run the right number in the room where you're hosting an event, when guests come in, they know that all the surfaces and the air are good to go. So they're starting with a clean slate, which I think is, you know, the best any venue or, you know, and any event host can offer. You know, certainly if somebody comes in with COVID and sneezes in your face, it's not going to help you. You know what I mean? But it is like this great neutralizer. Um, yeah, you're right. You're trying to just take every precaution that you can. Of course, you can't help if something like that were to happen, but to take the precautions that we can do. And I love it because you've got 30 years of experience in event planning. What is your idea of what the future could look like with events moving forward? You're already starting to plan for what that, that could be. Well, I, I think as long as we sort of know that it's going to be a slow process, and you know we're supposed to be tiptoeing out of quarantine with carefully thought out phases. And as long as we all understand that and respect that and then build on it, I think the most important thing is that we are moving in the right direction. You know, we want to be compliant. We want to offer guests peace of mind. We want to we you know as event hosts, we want to do everything in our power to have the place clean, have the social distancing concerns addressed, design the event appropriately so that we're maximizing open uh, open spaces if they're available mm -hmm. and you know for example um, offering hybrid events helps because you can get the same amount of people and maybe half the people are like a little uncomfortable and they want to stay home and attend virtually and then that means we're only dealing with half the amount of people at the actual event so that's a huge step in the right direction um, so anything any we we have um, uh, masks with uh, straw holes under development. They should be ready next week. And That's a cocktail so, party. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, again, 
I said we're all about the cocktail party. Um, not, yeah, and, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> yeah, we are trying to, you know, like if you're a bar and you're going to try and open in phase yeah. three, they're going to be cost effective so that you can provide them for everybody. And that way they'll be more apt to follow your rules and everyone in the environment will be safer. So, I love how you're thinking outside the box and leading the charge in your industry. It's really amazing. If we want to get more information about Revolution, where should we go? Do you have a website that we should check out? Yep. www.eventrevolution.com and all our PPP, PPE products yep. are on theeventrevolution.com. All and right. We're also on Thank Instagram and Facebook. You'll find we can us. find you everywhere. Yeah. Especially yeah, nowadays. <laughs> we really yeah. can. Thank you so much. And it's really insightful. Um, everything that you guys are doing with the event industry. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.